Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the basic helpers video presets in Reaper. Now I've started with a project already open with two video files on this track. I put the video over here, docked, along with the time code over here. Let's see what we have. And this file looks like this. Now, if we want to do any processing with video, we need to do it with video presets. So let's go to our track effects under all plugins and choose the video processor, which looks like this. Where we could choose presets based on video. Now, in a previous video, I showed you the presets down here for the transitions. In this video, I want to focus on the basic helpers, the ones right here. The first one I want to show you is probably the most important one item fades affect video. If we choose this and we create fades on our items, like a fade in, fade out, or a crossfade, and a fade out. Now we're going to see fade ins and fade outs and crossfades with our video. Fade in, crossfade, and fade out. If this plugin wasn't there, we're just going to see hard edits. So it's important we put this plugin on the track with this preset. Item fades affect video. And we should put this preset on first before any other video presets we use. Because when dealing with video, we want to layer many video plugins on top of each other. So let's add a new one on top of this. Video processor, after that one. And for this preset, we'll choose brightness and contrast. And here we could adjust the brightness, contrast, brightness pre, contrast big or coarse, and saturation. Let's start with the brightness, make it brighter or darker, make it a bit brighter, adjust the contrast, brightness pre, contrast big, which is great for effects like this or this, and the saturation to add more color, or put it at zero to make it black and white, or make it negative to add saturation with the hue reversed. Let's just add a bit of color to this. Before, it looked like this, and after, it looks like this. So we layered two video plugins on top of another. And keep in mind with this, we can automate these parameters with our envelopes. So I could choose brightness, for example, create an envelope for it, and automate it to create a wipe. Let's add a point right here, here, and here by holding down shift, then go over here and bring it up until the brightness makes it all white, and then create a wipe right there. Goes to white, and then back to normal. And we can do the same in the other direction. Bring it down till it goes to black and it creates a wipe from black and back to normal. So we could automate any of those parameters just that easily. Let's clear the envelope. And let's add another plugin on top. And this time we'll choose the preset. Track opacity, zoom, and pan. Here we can adjust the opacity, zoom, X offset, Y offset, and rotate. The opacity seems to fade it out to black, but that's not really what it's doing. If we put it at 50% and move this underneath and switch the tracks, and now the opacity makes it see through 
to this file. So we can adjust it right here to be full up, covering up the other file, or bring it down so it becomes see through. And again, we could automate this very easily. Choose it, show track envelope, bring it all the way down so we don't see it at all. Create a point here, a point here, and bring it all the way up. And it should fade in as far as the opacity or transparency of the video, starting from nothing and slowly fading in over time. Now let's check out the other parameters, starting with the zoom. Zoom in, zoom out, readjust the X offset, right and left, the Y offset up and down, and even rotate it left or right. But again, we can automate this to create a zoom over time. So let's create an envelope for zoom. Another one for the X offset and the Y offset. So now we can automate each one of these parameters like this. Let's start off with a point right here. Hold on Shift and click it. Create another point where we want to zoom in, but bring it up to how far we want to zoom in. Go about there. Do the same for the X offset, so we can move it into frame, and the Y offset. Go a little bit higher, so you can see her face, and there's our zoom. Now we can move the cursor over here, copy it, and paste it over here. For each parameter, and now we created a zoom in and zoom out like this. Pretty cool. But let's delete this. Let's check out a few more presets. Again, we'll add it on top. There's one over here to deinterlace the track item which is self-explanatory, but this one over here will decimate the track or the item frame rate. So with this, bring this up a bit, watch what happens over time. It cuts out the frames, creating a stutter type effect. Let's bring it up a bit more. And what's kind of cool about it, if we bring it up even more and bring down the alpha, it creates a halo effect as it skips the frames, like this. So let's switch this to another preset. Now before we choose, apply track effects only where track has video items. Let's not do this yet. I need to first show you how Reaper handles video. Let's put this on its own track. Get rid of this. Change the track order. By default, this track over here, track two, has priority over track number one. So if I move this over here, it's gonna play this video file until we get to this one. Then this track takes over. If we do the opposite over here, this is not going to play until this one's done. Because this track has priority over this track. But what also happens is all the effects on this track also get applied to this track as well. So if we readjust this plugin right here, the saturation to make it more obvious, that effect's going to apply to this track as well, as we can see. Because all the effects on the later tracks with the higher numbers 
get applied to the earlier tracks with the lower numbers. But if you don't want that behavior, just add this preset. Apply track effects only where track has video items. So the effects on this track are only going to apply to this, not this. So over here, still looks normal, and the effects we created only affect this track because we added this preset. Apply track effects only where track has video items. So it's only going to apply to this track. And it's important that this preset is last in the chain. Otherwise, it doesn't work. But if you still want to use these effects on this track, we can just duplicate them. Just drag it to here. And now the same effects will apply to both. But now you can change them. So this one, we could tweak so the brightness and contrast looks more like this. Let's put the saturation at zero, so it's black and white. But everything else is still going to apply. Like our fades and our fade outs. But the effect over here is completely separate from this one with these plugins. As long as we keep this preset last. It's black and white, and this one has that weird saturation with the reverse hue. But there's one more preset I want to show you. Now, by default, the size of the video is based on the size we imported, the original file size. So this video, if we right-click it and go to Source Properties, we can see it's 1920 by 1080. And this one is the same, 1920 by 1080. But if we want to force it to be a different size, we can go to the project settings and go to video and choose a size right here. Let's say, for example, we want to force it to 800 by 600. It's not going to change automatically. We need to add another preset to the end here. And this time we'll choose Basic Helpers, Resize Track or Item to Project Dimensions. And if we choose this, change the size to the size we chose over here. And it's going to work for both items on the track. But if you didn't want that, just put this on its own track, copy the effects, and turn it off over here. So it just applies to this one, like this. While this one is still the size that we imported. So that's pretty much it. Those are the basic helpers, video presets in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.